Hello, hi there Sagittarius, welcome to my channel, my name is Bella and most people know me as Bella the Secret Psychic and this is your love horoscope for September 2017 and how I work is I work with the help of my spirit guides, that's how I do all my readings and if you'd like to know more about me and my services just please look at the links below. So we're cracking on shall we, <laughs> looking at week by week when it comes to your love life and some Sagittarius have had a bit of a hard time now last month some of you would have turned your back on somebody for good and some of you wouldn't have. Some of you, they, that person wanted to reclaim you to fix the situation, which is kind of what you secretly wanted. And so you're on the road now to reconstructing, basically, that connection. So whether this is somebody you were separated from or an established relationship that went a bit wonky, it's be, it, you'll be constructing it, basically. If you're single, you haven't also necessarily had the best time of your dating love life, but you're constructing yourself back to being whole through self-love so that, again, you are using this beautiful energy that we have in September to your advantage. Because my guides are saying here that those things that hurt us instruct us in how we want to be going forward or how we should shape things and how we should construct things going forward in a better way. So this month in this beautiful energy month, because it really is the best energy this month, this year, I should say, um, to really help you to construct. And then the first thing that's been shown is that you have to change your thought forms. You have to change your thought forms, which is how you kind of start it, because you're, 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 you're happy that you're connected back with somebody, or you're happy that the relationship isn't over if you decided that it was what you wanted, but you're still cautious. Because how that other person displays love to you is very different to how you want it to be. And there's a little bit of you that kind of asks your needs to be met, but you're still frightened to say it all. And it seems like it takes you to the third week to really truly say what's on your mind because you're just observing. You're observing to see whether they are meaning what they say, whether things are going to stay the same. Did you make the right choice? You're just cautiously hesitant, basically. You're waiting for them to let you down. You're waiting to see if they're going to do and take some steps. And for some of you, you're looking going, no, it's still not there. From their perception, though, they believe they are. And that's only because you need to communicate with them, but you're afraid to communicate with them because you don't want the past repeating itself. You don't want arguments. Or you don't want to break up. So you're feeling a bit vulnerable back speaking your mind because you're thinking, I kind of want to see it. Before. You know, I want them to kind of do. But I guess don't fall into the trap of, expecting someone to know everything if you don't tell them so I do get here in the second or third week but it's second week mostly that you do decide to say something now be careful how you say it Sagittarius is. <laughs> and I can say this because I am one because you might like choose when you say it don't say it in an argument because it will come out completely wrong and quite cutting but even if you don't Try to phrase things so that it's not doesn't feel like an attack on them, like, well, you haven't done or you didn't do. Maybe say things like, because of the situation between us, I felt. Like, try to phrase it so that it's like a third party, <laughs> because it will go down better. Because, trust me, the other person believes that they have been doing it right. They have been distracted. They've been distracting themselves. Like, they're trying to give you give you what you need, but also try to balance things sort of other areas of their life, which has led them to be a bit distracted. So I get them basically giving you love in one hand, but sort of looking over here, going, because I just need to make sure that, you know, I'm not going to lose my job or that that's, that's ticking over okay. But because they've been trying to do multitask very unsuccessfully, even though they believe they've been giving you all, because they're like, well, I'm here, aren't I? I came back or I, I didn't go anywhere. I didn't answer you. I said I was sorry. Um, what more did you want me to do? You make it clear to them but like I said be careful how you phrase it so that it gets so that it's a pill that they can swallow better because then they'll be like oh um because I get they feel a little bit like oh I thought I was trying and they feel a bit not so good about it but it'd be better for them to try to help construct things with you better if they know what to do and when you tell them they know what to do and I get that they will oblige if you tell them in an argument then it may take take them a few more weeks <laughs> To do it because they 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 i get their energy will slump but just what my guides said at the beginning here what hurts us instructs us so even if it does come out wrong it will be instructive for them because it will help them to know what it is they need to do basically so 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 
Um, in the third week, I get here, there's a much more emotional fulfillment. I get you both doing things together. I, I get here that you do also recognise that you can't also rely on somebody else to pick yourself up. So they'll do their part, but you've got to do an important part, my guides are saying here, is to do things yourself to enrich your your love, your own love of life in general, because it will help the relationship if you're in a better mood. Because I get the person's going to continue to try, and but if you've got a sour face, <laughs> they're going to think they're failing. So let them make you happy, but also what is it that you can do that's aside from them that can also put the smile on your face too? Because it will help and really benefit the relationship as you both start to construct things back. And if you're single, basically, I get here, you do spend a lot of time, I get new haircuts, I get you spending a lot of time reconstructing yourself, basically, so that you are ready and in a very confident place to capitalise on things. But also get here that emotionally you're constructing yourself to prepare yourself so that you're confident, that you're not holding on any grief, that you can, you, you're not holding on to any fear, anything like that, so that you can be ready whether it's in this month, because it is a good month to be dating Sagittarius's, um, really positive energy, you can't really go wrong, but you might also be ready. And that's okay, because if you are constructing yourself, you do it marvellously well, get new wardrobes, or get new everything. In the fourth week, my guides are saying here, I don't know how to put this, because it's like, you, you know and you understand that there's a fine balance, I think. There's a fine balance between keeping a stability in a relationship because relationships you're dealing you're it's not always in your control because it's it, it depends on the other person depends on their mood their emotions what's happening for them in their lives and it impacts your lives your understanding is a fine balance to kind of keep that nurtured like I just get, basically I get here that you understand basically that relationships are never easy but what you learn from this is how you can overcome them how you can overcome the dark times which actually gives you a lot of strength it gives you an, something else that in the future should something like this happen you know exactly how to deal with it so it's like this whole experience and as you get into September there's a there's a there's a knowledge that actually you you've gained from this about how relationships are but also your part in it but also that even the dark stuff can be overcome which only makes you stronger as a person but also stronger with that person too and if you're single the same will still apply because all it means is that you are stronger to choose differently but also that you will overcome the impact that it had on you very successfully you're one of the most positive star signs and that doesn't go away but you just seem to gain some knowledge it's like a, a month of growth in a kind of mental spiritual level about understanding your part but also that fine balance between yourself your needs but also relationship needs basically and the other person doing that alongside you which of course helps it's not one-sided if there's togetherness there's a doing there's harmony. You, you're their yin to their yang, and it works out perfectly. And you both get it now. You, you get, you, you know how to do the dance together, without treading on each other's toes and you know, causing fires. <laughs> so I really hope that that's helped as a general overview when it comes to your love life for September 2017. Again, if you liked what I had to say, do like, do share, do comment love to hear from you all thank you all very much for your support so far i really do appreciate it and if you'd like to know more about me or my personal services just look at the links below so you all have an amazing september and i will see you next month take care